the last year before I qualified for medical insurance, being an older American, uh, I got into an accident at home, which cost me around $10,000 cash out of my pocket. And I had to bargain to reduce it as a cash patient, uh, called and said, okay, I don't have insurance. Uh, and I didn't know you could do this. And that's what I did. I brought it down to around $8,000. C.C. Dominguez retired at 57 years old, with her health insurance being covered by her previous employer for a full year. Once that ran out, Dominguez was able to get insurance through California's health care exchange. Uh, California care was new at the time. Um, I had no income. Uh, my husband had passed, so I qualified. But the minute I started making a little bit of money and pulling my investments out, that threw me up into a different uh, category. Dominguez was forced to cash out some of her taxable investments after her husband passed away to cover major home repairs and various expenses. The influx of income led to Dominguez losing her health care subsidies. California care was great in the beginning for me. I paid a couple hundred dollars and then boom, it went up to $600 almost a month for me and I couldn't afford it. I could not afford it. Dominguez ended up dropping her insurance and paying cash for yearly checkups until she qualified for Medicare at the age of 65. For most people, retiring in your 60s means you are automatically eligible for Medicare. The standard premium for Medicare Part B is around $140. But if you plan to retire early, you'll need other options. Let's say you're going to retire early and now you've got to come up with the plan for health care. Well, there's a couple of things. Number one, if you're retiring from a company, finding out what you're eligible for, having been an employee for that company, is it a COBRA? Is it a different type of plan that you have access to? In 2020, the average unsubsidized healthcare plan cost $456 for individuals and $1,152 for a family per month. If you're retiring early, you generally have three options. Continuing insurance through an employer, the Consolidated Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act, or COBRA, which allows you to keep your employer plan, but often without subsidies, or through the federal exchange created by the Affordable Care Act. Justin McCurry retired at 33 years old and now helps others looking to retire young. The Affordable Care Act has been around for, or at least offering subsidies for six years now. And uh, for a household size of five like ours, you can make up to almost $120,000 per year and still get health insurance subsidies. Um, so our income on, ta on our tax forms, our income is much lower than 120000 per year, um, like most American families. And so, so we're able to get uh, health insurance subsidies through the Affordable Care Act. McCurry's retirement income is around $40,000 per year, and he pays around $130 per month for his family's insurance through the exchange. In our experience, it, it hasn't been uh, a prohibitively expensive thing that we have to cover. Um, that, of course, can vary, you know, if you're looking at making uh, 150000 per year in income during your retirement, um, you could very easily be paying 10000 or more per year for health insurance, even for a healthy couple of, of two people without considering kids. So uh, it's definitely, it, it's something you have to budget for and plan for, and, and you can get pretty good cost estimates now um, from healthcare.gov to see what would a healthcare plan cost me and do I qualify for any subsidies. Here's another case study. A 55-year-old man who doesn't smoke, earning $50,000 per year in retirement and living in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, might expect to pay about $450 per month for the lowest form of coverage, much more than McCurry's family of five. The main thing is to go into this with your eyes wide open with a game plan. So I advise people to start having these conversations two to three years out from when you plan to retire. So you can start to sit down and get all your ducks in a row, do all the research and get things, the policies in place as need be. Invest in you, ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.